present a topic from English of food standard. What is this? Yeah, this is just a leaf. So, my topic is the leaf too has to say. What is this? This is a plant. What are the different parts of a plant? This is root. This part we call stem. And these are leaves. So, this is root. So, let's move to the topic. The root system of a plant. This is a marigold plant. Let's take the root system of this plant. Look, this plant's root is like fibrous. Like, yes? Yeah. And all the fibrous like roots is drawn from the base of this stem. This is a mutanya plant. Look at this root. Yeah, this root is like fibrous. Yeah? Yes, and all the fibrous like root is grow from the base of this mutanya plant. This is a mango tree plant. And let's take the root system of this mango tree plant. Look, there is a main thick single root grow from the base of the stem deep into the soil and the branch will grow from that single root. Look, this is a tulasi plant. And let's take the root system of this tulasi plant. Look, there is a main single root grow from the base of the stem and the branches root grow from that single main root. So, let's conclude that there are two types of root system. This root system we call tap root system and this root system we call fibrous root system. Let's take the tap root system. Look at this tap root system. There is a main single thick root draw from the base of the stem and it grows deep into the soil and the branches grow from that single thick root. That is tap root. So this system we call tap root system. Under the tap root system, there is a thick root draw deep into the soil. So it is a difficult to uproot. Here are some examples of the plants which have taproot. Mango tree, jackfruit tree and thick. Amaranthus, carrot, beetroot, binja. Under the fiber root system, all the root is grown from the base of the stem and it looks like fibrous and it is similar. It doesn't have a main thick root. So, it grow in the upper soil. So, it is easy to uproot. Here are some examples of fibers root system. Coconut tree, arecana tree, bamboo. Paddy, mutanya, marigold. Friends, I am going to uproot a marigold plant. Look, the marigold plant have fibers root system. So, it is easy to uproot. Look, yeah. But look, this small plant is difficult to uproot. What? It have a main thick root grow deep into the soil. So, it is very difficult to uproot. Look. So, there are two types of root system. Tap root system and fibrous root system. What is taproot system? The taproot system consists of the larger taproot and the smaller branches growing from the larger taproot. Then what is fibrous root system? The fibrous root system includes a cluster of similar roots growing from the base of the stem. So, what are the differences between taproot system and fibrous root system? Taproot system. Under taproot system, there is a main root. Under the fibrous root system, the main root system is absent. Under the taproot system, it grows deep into the soil. But, under the fibrous root system, it doesn't grow deep into the soil. 
but under the uh, taproot system larger number of small root develop from the main root but in case under the fibrous root system all the roots are grow from the base of the stem under the taproot system it is not easy to uproot it grow deep into the soil but under the fibrous root system it is easy to uproot friends let's move to the leaves of a plant let's check the vein of this leaf there is a main vein goes and the other veins is coming from that main vein like network this is a leaf of a coconut tree let's check the vein of this leaf look the veins is come from the stalk to tip of this leaf like parallel lines straight lines then what is venation the arrangement of the vein in leaves is called venation then what is parallel venation the venation in the leaves is look like parallel line is parallel venation that is the parallel arrangement of veins in leaves is called parallel venation then what is reticulated venation the veins is look like network in the leaves is called reticulate venation that means the network like venation in leaves is called reticulate venation so let's conclude that there are two types of venation reticulated venation and parallel venation the network like arrangements in the leaves is called reticulated venation and the parallel like arrangements in the leaves is called parallel venation so what is reticulate venation the network like venation in leaves is called reticulate venation and what is parallel venation the parallel arrangement of vein in leaves is called parallel venation so friends what are the topics we discussed in this video taproot system and fibrous root system reticulated venation and parallel venation so thank you for watching my video bye